morning, just out the shower, it's 9.30 a.m. So still an early start, but a later start than yesterday. I had a better sleep last night, uh, that's for sure. Um, yeah, so I'm currently watching my videos upload, one's uploaded, take a look at this. I've got the Wi-Fi working, but it's very on and off, sometimes it disconnects for a bit and then comes back on. I don't know how long it disconnects for, I left it on all night. They also, the, the first one is ready to go, and that's going up. Um, that one, not even, like, it's just over halfway, actually. Oh, <laughs> uh, boy, uh, hotel Wi-Fi, eh? Convinced it's because I'm on the fifth floor. As I'm convinced that's the reason because I went to like an American motel in LA you know they clean your room like once every week or something they had incredible wi-fi so like you know it's I mean then again it's America America has fast wi-fi everywhere but anyway yeah um so today's plan uh, it's not as crazy as Hallstatt but uh we're exploring Vienna I booked a tour with big bus tours so uh, they have two routes uh with their big bus that runs from nine to five they also have packages, which I bought the extra packages. So I also got a boat tour. Although the boat has three routes as well. So I don't know if I'm allowed on all three routes or just one, but I think one's enough anyway. There's a boat tour down the river and there's a guided walking tour, which is only twice a day and one, one is in German. So uh, I think the English one's at 11.30. So uh, yeah, it's half an hour walk to the area. So uh, I could do the walking, guided walking tour today. If not, I'll do it tomorrow. But the two bus tours, could probably do them both today um maybe the boat tour tomorrow uh, there's a palace you can visit here that's a free entry that might be the thing i do my last day here um so yeah we'll see but yeah it'll be just chilled tours of vienna and before before we head home we, we did the big we did the main event on day one <laughs> Uh, and the rest of it, we're just exploring the capital, which is a beautiful capital. It's good looking. So, uh, yeah, let's head on our way. I'm going to use my voucher again. Every day they do a thing where if you say they don't need to clean your room, they give you a free drink. So I'm doing that again for the second day in a row. All right. And I leave the sign up. Another free bottle of water. Win-win. Although tomorrow I need it cleaned. But yeah, it's fine for one more day. This is the free drink. It looks fancy, but 33, not 0.33. Free. I want 0.5 at least. How dare you? Oh well, it's something to drink anyway. I've done it guys. Walking through the same neighborhood, I found one other non-white person. This is history. <laughs> Wait, just to clarify, just in case someone gets annoyed. I'm, I don't have a problem with that, okay? It's, I'm just joking around, all right? So relax yourself, okay? These days you've got to specify when you're joking because people are offended by everything these days. Apart from the construction, there's a nice little street. So I got my vouchers from down there, there was a bus over there, and uh, there is stop one where the guided tour starts. Bear in mind, I got all this for 45 pounds, which is a pretty good deal. This is the river cruise, valid for seven days. I can use it anytime before I leave. Self guided audio tour, probably won't use it, but that's included. An evening guided tour at 6.30 if I want to do that. I don't know that's included, so that's great. For the bus tours, there's two routes, red, blue, red route and a blue route, it's valid for 72 hours, which is great. I thought it was 48, that's what I paid for, but 72 is perfect. This is what I want to be doing in a second. Uh, guided inner city walking tour starts in about five minutes. So that's it. Um, not bad for 45 pounds, I reckon get a river cruise you get two different bus tours you get two guided walking tours and a self-guided tour which i probably won't do but all of that in a package so much better than just getting the bus so yeah got eight minutes the meeting point is the exact same place as yesterday's horse that tour which is quite interesting different tour operators but i'm guessing this is like a central hub for any sort of tour because there's lots of coaches around it anyway yeah let's do this walking tour first yeah, for the river cruise, they said you've got two options. You can do the river cruise or another cruise. I chose the river one. Come in more, I said to be honest, it gave me two options, but even though there's three routes, you can only do one of them, which is fine. But yeah, it's a nice price, I feel, for all of those put together. And it took only 14 days for the old. Bigger than the host of Vienna, your neighbor, your big neighbor. It's a ceremony at the moment. This came from Spain, so it was the nickname the Spanish Riding School. And the first nose starts and knows more horses. These horses are what makes. Okay, you have to pull off the carriage. 
Here, there are old. It was a good walking tour. Uh, the guy goes, showed some good monuments, um, said a lot about history and about the modern day as well, um, about how most of the country is uh, Catholic and the religions were represented. Um, and stuff like recommendations for coffee shops as well. Like he said, like there's a Mozart cafe, which is the popular touristy one, but there's much better ones. He showed us one that was hidden behind bushes because it was for mainly for the locals, <laughs> unless you could find it. But he showed us like, yeah, you can go there. It's cheaper and better. But like some tourist places, it's just like this place over here, you queue up 20 minutes, it's not worth it. There's another place, better food, better coffee, go there instead. Uh, stuff like that, recommendations of the coffee, coffee shops and things to do. And, but also like about the everyday life of Austrians here and the history and stuff. There was so much information and uh, the Spanish horses as well. I need the actual Spanish, have nothing to do with it, it's just my name. <laughs> but the Spanish riding school, um, every month apart from July, are actually there. No, I can't see all of them, but um, they're beautiful looking horses. The best looking horses are the white ones and the black ones. Stuff about this palace over here, that's one of the oldest sons. They sent, um, so the mother sent her kids across Europe to marry and build an empire that way which is quite smart when you think about it so the Austrian Empire was built through marriages partly which was quite interesting to hear about um, also about like World War II history like uh, there was a clip earlier with like two tall white rocks um, that's a war memorial so there there was a triangular building and uh, it was supposedly safe as Austrians fought um, from refuge from the bombs of World War II but it was bombed and a lot of people died in there, women and children who were hiding in there and they thought they were safe. It's very tragic. Um, so I think their bodies are actually still there and um, that whole place is like a memorial to that. There's stuff like that, like awful stuff that happened. Um, towards the end of the war, there was a thing where um, the Americans would bomb during the daytime and at nighttime would be the British would be bombing the Royal Air Force and then the Red Army would come in um, there's a lot of detail about that as well, so, uh, and also about, obviously, you know who, who was born here. Um, apparently he wasn't liked here, he didn't have a good life here. Um, he had no one, no friends or anything. He was not accepted into art school here twice, he applied twice, and then he moved to Germany. And obviously the rest is uh, very evil history. And just stuff about like Soviets, like, they liberated this place, but also did a lot of bad things as well. Uh, so there was a lot about that, and negotiating to become a uh, independent country, because after World War II they were divided by the British, French, American, British, French, Americans and Soviets. Um, so it took a while to negotiate independence. But uh, yeah, it was a, there's, a lot to, there's a lot to learn there, a lot to learn. And also like uh, the Opera House, Vienna Opera House, which I showed at the start of the uh, guiding walking tour. The Opera House is not original. So like it was bombed in World War II and they rebuilt it to look the same. It took 10 years to do it because there were bigger problems in 1945 than rebuilding a Mozart. Um, Rebuilding a Mozart. <laughs> it's, it was up played there to be fair. So did uh, Beethoven, but like, yeah, like rebuilding an opera house, it took 10 years to do. Um, they built it to be the same, but it was not the original version. Apparently, with those horse carriage things, um, it's a fixed price. Uh, there's two different tours, but each tour has a fixed price. It's a war memorial. Not the horses, just this whole place here. It used to be a big triangular building. Yeah, we're back in the area of uh, the bus tour, which is right there. So I was saying like, it's a fixed price because they used to charge so much and they got complaints all around the world saying that people in Vienna rob you of money or whatever, because they used to charge ridiculous amounts. So they, the people of Vienna came together and tried a solution. They brought these things under the same regulations as taxis. Taxis aren't fixed. I don't think the, the prices don't work the same as taxis, but like, because they were brought under the same umbrella, they got to charge a fixed price now and it's for the whole carriage so it's the same price for one person or four people as well so uh yeah a much better solution i guess but it's still rather pricey 20 minutes is 50 euros 45 minutes is 100 euros yeah. and i don't know what to compare it to because i never go on those so that's the mozart cafe right it's next to the uh the hall right there behind those bushes is the much better cafe in case you wanted to know i don't even like coffee so it's just like, it's not really a big deal for me. Yeah, oh yeah, I'm gonna roll this clip just so you understand what I'm talking about. There was like a mini little town in the middle of the town and it was so much more quiet in there. I'm just like, wow, this is like basically like classic Austria. 
as like compared to what's outside and how it's so much louder like the talk I'd mentioned. So there was a church right next to us and uh, when I was walking out, I wrote, I wrote a clip again, you see that green archway, right? So married couples, they take a photo there, but apparently it's, it's a myth, it's an urban legend. Apparently if you walk through there, you'll get mad within a, within a year. Um, it's an urban legend, but I thought, you know what, let's walk through there. I'm the only one in the tour group who walked through there. <laughs> and uh, yeah, if I get mad within a year, then uh, we know why. But uh, <laughs> I did it as a joke to be fair, but I laughed, it was like, just remember, it's an urban legend. I'm just like, yeah, but you know, it might be an urban legend, but you know, the urban legend says if you walk through there, you can get married. So it's, it's worth the risk, it's worth the risk. Went on a blue route first, it took about an hour and a half, an hour and 40 minutes. Not too bad, that was one of the best bus tours I've been on. Um, I've been on the Madrid one, San Francisco, uh, this is up there. One of the best for camera shots though, I'm not gonna lie. I saw pretty much like everything, like everything was clear to me apart from Belvedere Palace, so didn't get a good view of that. But like camera angles wise, it wasn't perfect. Um, it wasn't even because I was seeing in the back of the bus. I just feel like if you weren't right at the front, the views weren't always perfect, uh, but that's for the camera though like for me it was fine but for you guys it's just like ah oh, i'm looking through a window at this and this and this i feel like if the roof was open it would have been better but yeah um still like the tour itself was good and i'm still used to do the other tour and it also stops at good places that palace i wanted to visit schonberg i think it's called um it's free entry this stops outside there so that's perfect also stops outside a couple places so like if I want to visit some places tomorrow and the day after, I can use this bus as like a transit service <laughs> to go and see the other places. So that's pretty much perfect. Only half an hour from a hotel. So uh, yeah, I'm going to do the other route. I'm going to get something to eat first, um, get some water as well. Then I'm going to do the other route. And hopefully by the time that route is done, I can do the uh, evening tour. Hopefully the timing is all right with that. And then tomorrow I'll do the boat tour. But I don't know what to do. Like it's bad on either. There's either A, B or C. And I can do any of them. So uh, I'm gonna ask, cause you gotta go to the boat companies, the different companies linked. Um, you gotta swap your voucher. So I'm gonna ask them like, what's the best one, A, B or C? <laughs> and I'll do whichever one and I'll do that tomorrow. And uh, yeah, apart from the boat tour, tomorrow and the day after, we're just gonna explore some places and use the bus to get to those places. So I forgot to mention from the tour in the morning that I did, right? The guy mentioned taxes. Austria is one of the highest tax rates in Europe. If you earn 60K, 
it's fifty percent tax. On top of that, you got to pay a percentage towards your pension. Um, we got NI in the UK, the equivalent of that, I guess. They pay like I think twelve, fourteen percent on top of that, and that's only for a CTK salary. So that's pretty uh, interesting. But I guess that's why everything looks so nice. They use it to uh, to build these things. What's interesting is like there was another guy I met to, uh, that was doing that guy the tour. Um, it was a Scottish guy. Um, our tour guide, he was talking about how Austrian German is actually different to German German. There's different pronunciations and stuff. I didn't know that. I thought it was just like all the same German, but actually no. Apparently it's uh, similar to the difference between uh, English and Scottish. <laughs> That's why I use a Scotsman as an example. Uh, but I thought that was interesting. Like some words German say more aggressively, other words... Um, uh, 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 the way he described it, the tour guide described it, was that... Well, not the way he described it, but the way he hears other people describe it is... The Germans speak it, the Austrians sing it. I, I don't know what sort of comparison that is, but uh, yeah, I thought that was interesting because it makes sense that other languages have their own accents as well. Like I always, you know, I always grew up thinking English was the only language with like different accents, but actually even a language like German has different uh, versions of it. So I just thought that was quite interesting. Perhaps the most unique hot dog I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> It's got cheese and ketchup inside, apparently. Yeah, for the Opera House, there's a truck that comes in here and it goes into this giant lift that lifts it up. I thought that was pretty cool. Blue route starts there, but the red route starts over there. That one's more of a city tour. Should be fun. Got the Munich one as well, that was pretty good. The best ones I've been on are the German ones. And we are done. That second one, that city one, Red Route, was about two hours long, almost exactly actually. Good, shows you a different side of the city and it goes over the river, shows other parts where the skys skyscrapers are. Yesterday, the Sophia from the House Stats tour talked about how they have a limited amount of skyscrapers in Vienna because there's a community, de community decision where they shouldn't build any skyscrapers that are beyond what's necessary. So apparently the ones that exist are the ones that are necessary to exist. I thought that was interesting to uh, point out. But yeah, that was quite a good tour. Um, and one big advantage of stores like this is they show you landmarks, places, and just things you can do um, throughout the city, things you might not have known about. 
There's actually plenty to do. There's actually more to do than I got time for. There are some very interesting museums. I'm gonna pass on those though. But if I had more time, I would have done them. Um, I'm gonna visit a couple palaces, that's for sure. The one that's free to enter, that's one of the stops, as I mentioned, and Belvedere Palace on the sea. I don't really go, wanna go in, I just wanna see the front of it, basically. Um, and yeah, apart from the river cruise, that's what I'm planning to do. Um, but yeah, there's plenty of things to do here, more than I thought there was. It's a very nice city. Always happy to see those two letters in Europe. WC toilet. That's what I need. That is nice. Ah, lint. Don't do it, David. Richard Strauss. Currently 6 p.m. At 6.30 is uh, the night walking tour. I think it's a walking tour. There's a bus tour, a night tour as well. I assume they're two different things, but they said there's a night tour, right? and it looked, it seemed like it's a walking tour. It's, it says guided tour, so it wouldn't be a bus. Um, but I'm looking forward to that. And then it's literally just, lit I can't say literally, literally just finding a place to eat and then heading back to our hotel. Very smooth day, especially compared to yesterday, even though I loved yesterday, I was so tired. It's towards closing time, but this is quite a nice place. Apart from the construction over here, but I'm sure when that's built, it'll look even better. I'm actually trying to scout, like, potential places to eat afterwards. Obviously a lot of them be closed, but still, I'm curious. There's, I noticed yesterday there was, there was like signs to a Sri Lankan restaurant, like it's called Colombo Hoppers, and there's signs like all over this area. I'm just like, oh, it must be like around the corner. I looked it up, it's like half an hour walk. I'm just like, why are there all the adverts over here then? I said the night tours at Stop One Opera. The issue is, right, Stop One right here is called Opera. Stop One down there where that bus is, also called Opera. So, so which? Let me go that way. I'm gonna go that way because I think there's someone there and there's no one here. Tell Saka. Popular menu for his cafe. The evening tour is a bus tour. That was wrong. <laughs> Sunsets. Yeah, that was a good tour. It was like a general bus tour. You see some of the things you saw on the day tours that I did on the bus, um, and also some different things as well. And it's with a guide, like he's on the. You got to change the channel to the right channel, but like there's a guy on the bus live talking to you um, throughout. So yeah, it was a two-hour tour. I think it was, it was the longest one of the three actually. But yeah, it was good. Uh, I am a little bit tired now from <laughs> three bus tours in a row, <laughs> plus that walking tour. Um, that was actually the least tiring one, surprisingly. But uh, yeah, I learned a lot today. I learned a lot. Like cyclists, cyclists have a problem here apparently. Um, when you cross the street, even if it's one way, you look both ways all the time because cyclists do not stop for anybody and they come from all sides. <laughs> Two tour guys, tour guys told me that today. This guy and the guy in the morning. So it's pretty serious. It's pretty serious. So apparently a lot of Austrians are grumpy, but apparently there's friendly ones as too. They're, they're not all grumpy. So that's reiterated by two tour guides as well. At cafes, the waiters all look grumpy and angry. Apparently that's normal. Apparently it's normal to go to a coffee shop, which is very popular in, the, in Vienna, by the way. Coffee shops are very popular. Every waiter's grumpy looking, straight faced. It's just normal here. <laughs> it's, I guess it's just part of customer service here. I don't know. Um, Public transport, it's very convenient and cheap here, especially for residents. Um, someone can pay, a resident of Vienna can pay 365 pounds a year. Sorry, not pounds, euros, sorry. But yeah, um, the equivalent of one euro per day to use as many buses, trams and trains as you want underground as well. Like as much as you want for one euro a day. You'll never see that in London, never. <laughs> it's absolutely odd. Things I couldn't get on camera because we went past it quite quickly, but there was like a really old looking church. It looked really nice. Um, the oldest church in Vienna that's currently operating. 
Um, there was a really old train garage as well. I wish I caught those because they were really like classic, like pre. It looked like something from England in pre World War One. Like it looked brown, dark bricks. It was it was really classic looking, but I couldn't uh, get it on uh, on the clip. And the guy was quite funny as well. Um, he made quite a dark humor joke about a certain someone um, who got rejected from art school, like the talk I'd mentioned earlier today. It was like, we rejected him twice because his paintings were bad. Bad idea. We could have had one extra bad painter and one less dictator. Good joke in Venice. Very good joke. So did you like my, uh, my idea? As soon as I saw that the big bus tour had Wi-Fi, the first tour I got and I checked, checked if it connects, and yes, it connects quickly on laptop. It's actually a fast Wi-Fi as well. Bear in mind, it took all night to upload that halfway, right? And to be fair, I was uploading it by other vlog as well, and that took all night. But still, 54% overnight. I get on the bus, it goes 54% to 100% in like 12 minutes. I'm just like, right. <laughs> Maybe I should just, I, I, I got the, uh, the pass to use the bus as many times as I want until I leave. Like it's valid until Thursday, Thursday morning. So like, that's like a cheat code. If the vlog doesn't upload, in the hotel, I can get on the bus and upload it there. <laughs> and I can use the bus to get to places I want to go as well, like including the river cruise and the uh, the two palaces I want to see. So that's elite. That really is elite. This vlog is actually longer than I expected it to be, you know. I thought this would be like a short, a really short 10 minute vlog. I don't know how long it is now, but it's definitely longer than that. My word. Also, the hotel, I think it's Imperial. I can't remember. It was at the, at the start of the night tour clips. It's hotel Imperial, I just double checked from my camera footage. Um, that's like a famous hotel. Um, the Soviet used it as their base uh, after World War II. Um, and it's a hotel a lot of famous people go and stay. With important people as well, including the Queen. Queen Elizabeth II stayed in that hotel. Uh, Michael Jackson, another one, uh, I can't remember the names, but there were a lot of political and celebrity names that stayed at the hotel. Well, not much it cost per night. If the Queen stayed there, probably a lot. Fantastico. We meet again. I had food on the way back. It was just chips, so not, nothing that. Um, nothing that exciting. That's fries to you Americans. Um, they call them pommes in German. I'm at a store and they call them there like they call them Kaiser pommes. Like I know like pommes or pommes frites means fries, chips, whatever, or just pommes. I've never heard of Kaiser pommes. What does the Kaiser mean? It's still chips. I'm making my way back to the hotel. I don't need a map anymore. I needed a map this morning, I needed it last night. Now I'm just like, I know the way. Um, in Austria there's not too many tall buildings, especially in the center of the city, so it's kind of easy to find your way, you just got to remember certain buildings because a lot of buildings stand out here. And for me, it's this thing here. It stands out quite a lot. I just know that I got to walk a certain direction until I see a park. And when I get to the park, I'll see this. I'm just like, I'm on the right track. Then I got to get on the right road and I'm almost at my hotel. So it's perfection. It really is. It's an easy city to learn. I found the same when I visited Dortmund, actually. I found Dortmund last November. Was it November? I think it was like September, October. I found that place really easy to navigate just from two days of being there. So this is quite similar. But I'm not going out too far in fairness, but still, I'm going in pretty much all the tourist areas and I am not getting lost. So it is perfect. I'm back only an hour earlier than I was yesterday. So that's perspective. Um, so yeah, um, I had a good time today. I'm very tired right now though, but I need to get this vlog done and edited, hopefully it can upload overnight. <laughs> Otherwise I just use the bus to do it. Hope you enjoyed it. We discovered a lot of Vienna today and learned a lot about it as well. So it's a fun time. This is your boy Davidoff, please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day and see ya.